And then um, Candy Crowley asked a similar question from Robert Gibbs, who, of course, is a press spokesman now for the Obama campaign, former White House press secretary. Listen. Tell me, I mean, you've been very open about the fact, and by you, I mean the Romney, t- uh, the Obama team, that this will be a, a different president come Tuesday. How so? Well, look, I think, uh, Candy, uh, obviously the president was disappointed in his own performance. He didn't meet his expectations. It's not true that he that he thought he won when he came off the stage? Absolutely not. I, I, you know, and, and certainly he's, he's, he, he, knew, he knew when he walked off that stage, uh, and he also knew as he's watched the tape of that debate that uh, he's got to be more energetic. Uh, I think you'll see somebody who's uh, very passionate about the choice that our country faces uh, and putting that choice in front of voters. OK, uh, was his problem that he was too polite? Right. Biden didn't have that problem. He didn't have that problem. This is incredible. You see, part of what they're trying to do is to to basically hide the fact that the reason that Obama flopped the first time is because he has nothing positive to talk about. What are the inspirational goals for the second term? By the way, this this idea of inspiration, I mean, remember the first President Bush was always attacked because he didn't have, quote, the vision thing. Remember that? What is the vision for Obama's second term? And here's the New York Times headline right after the debate. I can't believe it. It's, it's almost a parody, but um, they, uh, they they basically have a, a picture of Joe Biden addressing a crowd of, honest to God, it looks like about 15, maybe 20 ardent supporters in La Crosse, Wisconsin on Friday. And it says, in Biden, inspiration, but imitation is not expected in Biden inspiration what was inspirational exactly and 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 basically what they're talking about is trying to substitute aggression for strength that was Peggy Noonan's line and she's exactly right being aggressive and nasty and negative isn't the same as being strong Ronald Reagan was strong he never debated like that, did he?